Hey there guys, I'm Cody Mayo, and this is Cigar TV, and on today's episode of Cigar TV, we have another review for you today. Today's review is over the, uh, let's see, what is it, Marzio cigar. So, this cigar right here is actually pretty good for the first impressions. Uh, this is the first one out of the box, and uh, it has good flavors to it and overall so far from what I can tell it's a really smooth type of cigar to be smoking on it is a full body cigar uh, the wrapper around the cigar itself is a Kentucky wrapper and it actually comes from Kentucky Ken Tennessee uh, the wrapper does the cigar itself is a Dominican cigar and uh, so far it's pretty good whenever I opened up the box itself and started to uh, smoke it uh, before I started to smoke it I got was getting this interesting smell off the wrapper so it's almost like a uh, smoked barbecue ish like smell almost like that also it almost smelled like a uh, fresh uh, tire rubber I guess you could say I don't know about that who knows it could just be my job having lasting effects on me after work and stuff I don't know if you were to get a box of these and let me know what you think about that then that'd be cool but other than that let's get into reviewing this cigar so, if you look at the ashes right there, really nice, really brightly, like, white. Uh, the burn on the cigars, or the cigar so far, it's kind of off, but kind of even at the same time. It just really depends. I'm sure we're even out, because it's not too far off, the burn line. The wrapper itself is just a plain red wrapper with black lettering and somewhat of black designs on it. Other than that, it's just a pretty plain looking cigar band. Also, take a look at that leaf. It is kind of oily, I would say not too oily though so yeah and you can also somewhat see some of the veins in it especially right up here at the top right there so yeah let's get into the flavors of this cigar and then we'll move on to the uh, way that the box looks itself All right. <clears throat> So the cigar itself, it has like a, uh, just like when I smelt it before I started smoking it, it has a smoky barbecue like flavor to it. Almost reminds me of the Kentucky Fire Cure cigars uh, with the way it tastes and stuff. So there's that. It's kind of earthy as well. A little bit of a nutty flavor to it. It's not overpowering though.
And I think there's like a hint of a uh, grassy like taste to it. And you know, that could just be me though. Everyone uh, everyone has their own opinion on the flavors and stuff of certain cigars. But that's what I'm getting from this cigar itself. The draw on it is pretty good. I haven't had any issues with the way it draws. Um, and it gives off a lot of smoke also. Not too much smoke, but just enough smoke. Alright, so, let's move on to the uh, box that it came in. It is a pretty small box. Uh, nothing too uh, amazing about the box itself, really. It's pretty small, kind of slim on the uh, box itself. You got the this cool looking like silk screen type of printing here on the lid itself so yeah it's kind of hard to read some of the smaller letters because of the color combination of both black and red it kind of makes it harder to see especially in certain types of light it's not really showing too well on the camera but hopefully you can read it just fine uh, as good as one can. The back of the box itself is just plain red and also on the sides of the uh, box you get the uh, name right there and yeah it's like that on both sides. On this side it's that small writing again. So nothing too special. It is a hinge tires box so it's going to open up just like that. That's the inside. Pretty plain inside on the lid, on the inside of the lid. It's the same design as on the outside of the lid. It comes in a box of tin. And I'm, um, to be honest, I believe I only paid like $85 for it. If even that, I think I actually paid less for this box. I think I really only paid like $65 for it. But I could be wrong. So yeah. Overall, I would say that this is a pretty good stick. I don't know if it would be the uh, ideal cigar to smoke first thing in the morning, but maybe like at lunch or something, you know, after you've had a little bit to uh, wake up. And hopefully you've had enough time to put something on your stomach or something like that because it's full body. And it, it's a Maduro, but it's not it's not overpowering. So I guess you could smoke it without putting something on your stomach, but definitely if you're not used to stronger cigars, I would suggest having something to eat before e uh, smoking this cigar. And it would just complement it a little bit better. And I would probably say if I was to uh, eat some type of like smoked food from like a barbecue place, I'd probably follow it up with this cigar. Just because it would complement the flavors of that, I think, personally, with the flavors of this cigar. So yeah, overall, I would be buying it again. And... Uh, It's just a really good cigar. So, if you like what you see in this video and would like to see more videos like this and you have not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, 
hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the uh, videos I put out. If you have any comments or questions about this cigar, please leave them down in the comment section below and I would do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. Also, if uh, you have any suggestions for future topics like cigars, cigar tips, tricks, or gadgets, please leave those down in the comment section as well. And I will get back to you on those and hopefully we can figure out something else to do a review on on this channel. If you have any personal questions, anything like that, just ask them down in the comments and I will, as well as I said with the other ones, get back to you in a timely manner. If you can't get enough of Cigar TV and would like to know what I do in my personal day-to-day -day life and possibly see some behind the scenes actions before I do these videos or get exclusive upcoming reviews and all that please follow me on Instagram that's CigarTV91 on Instagram because if you aren't following me on Instagram then you're gonna miss out on some uh, previews just like the one I put out about a week or so ago. So if you want to stay up to date on upcoming stuff other than the unboxings, please follow me on Instagram. One more time, that is CigarTV91. And until next time, guys, stay safe out there and stay smoky.